robot is very, very awesome. Thanks. All the teams try to get back to their airships. Two partners lining up in the middle of that blue airship to deliver another gear. And the blue and the fuel pouring on. The gray blue line spinning up rotor number four with three seconds until the ropes drop. First taught me how to be part of a team. Uh, it was the first, you know, like major team activity that I've been part of, uh, and it really kind of taught me, you know, how to work together with other people and how to succeed together. actually our first time to make it to the world competition and to win the world competition on our first go is just unbelievable. I think everyone should do first because where else are you going to find something, an experience like this? Where are you going to find the excitement? Where are you going to find robots in a giant stadium? It's, it's incredible. I'm super proud that, we, that you guys came this far, and so that means next year I'm gonna go all the way to the top. What? Yeah. 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 Oh, Ashley, I gotta get this one.
Everything that we do, it's, you know, we learn about, you know, it, that it's not just about building robots, it's about building communication skills, you know, social skills, uh, learning environment, um, to help each other out in tutoring that we have, um, you know, and just, just the environment and how we treat each other like the family I wish I had. Robotics is a really cool thing to be involved in and it's not just a boys field, anyone can do it. And that even if you know, you're someone like me who was not at all interested in STEM or science or math at all, um, getting the chance to do something hands-on and to physically make a robot to compete with it instead of just learning about it in the abstract can totally change the way that you view robotics and STEM as a field. All the girls are super excited. There's a lot of all-girl teams here, and we love meeting new all-girl teams just because there's not a whole lot in Texas, so that's always fun. I'm proud of this team because they do so much. And they, I mean, I'm, when I say they do so much, I mean they do it. We don't have a lot of mentors on the team, and uh, they, the kids st step up and take all the leadership roles, and so the team really is run by students. I have grown up doing first. So my parents have coached since I was maybe two years old, and so I've always grown up knowing that I think robots are amazing and I want to build them. So I joined First Lego League when I was eight years old, as soon as I could, and since then I haven't stopped. As first grows and there's more teams that join first, it becomes more and more fun to see all these different teams from around the world come visit us at these championships. It makes the event more fun, more meaningful, and it really inspires us to pursue like STEM careers so we can also travel in the world and then share our knowledge with other people.
first was helped me because the science that we use and the technology, it's really useful and it's taught us to think outside of the box and many things. Something that they say we can't say it. So it's as much learning for me as as much it has been for them. This is a hundred percent fun. I like everything here. Even I like the robots. Being a first mentor has given me the opportunity to help the girls grow and learn more in their science and engineering knowledge. Watching them become more confident and learn more about themselves and working as a team and so many life skills that they'll use forever. Why can't we create an atmosphere where they get recognition uh, in a competitive elimination tournament that in every way is, is as exciting as any other sport, but the skill sets they learn here are so important to their future. More and more, it's really important that the next generation of leaders are able to tackle really tough challenges and come up with very creative and innovative solutions. And through FIRST, we hope to really give the kids the foundational skills that they need to be those critical thinkers, collaborators, and problem solvers uh, that are going to take on the toughest challenges. You can't work with a team and build a robot without having real interpersonal interactions and recognizing that I need to be better at that. So learning about yourself and society is just as important as learning about Mother Nature and the robot. It's just part of what FIRST does. The reason it's so important to inspire these students to be change makers and critical thinkers, it's, it's more than just robots, it's about the 21st century skills that these kids are developing, that they can go and pitch a sponsor, they can operate like a business, that's real world critical thinking that's necessary to bring a product to market, to tell other people about it and, and what it brings to the world. Uh, that's, that's extremely important for companies like Qualcomm and the other supporters that you see here. So guys, you know, how many people are proud and happy that they've joined First Robotics? How many people's parents are proud that you guys joined First Robotics?